Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my unprocessed life. Uh, so, headed back to work today. It's a Friday. It's a Friday. Pretty exciting, really. I get to, to commute on my own this morning because uh, my buddy's out. So, we may have more time to talk this morning. We'll just see what I have to rant and rave about before we get to that. No. And I think I left you last night after I had my coconut water and headed to the house. And I was expecting... Uh, to do banana and ice cream, as I told you. Uh, however, Stark Raving Raw had another thing up her sleeve, uh, which turned out to be pretty yummy, all things considered. Uh, she decided to do um, raw sushi wraps. Now, if any of you are watching that don't know what raw, <clears throat> the, anything about the raw lifestyle or raw foods, at least the way that most of the raw food community that I'm aware of uh, does it. It has absolutely nothing to do with meat. There are no raw meats that anybody eats. Um, you know, you can do that with sashimi and so forth. Uh, I used to do that uh, before I, I uh, went to a plant-based diet. Um, but raw meat is not part of it. Raw eggs, no raw dairy, none of that. Um, at least not in most of the communities. I'm sure there are some that you can find that, that do that type of thing. Uh, <clears throat> But we're all about being plant-based here. So, if your thoughts were running to, ooh, raw meat, how gross? Yeah, I agree, that's pretty gross. It's not part of what we do, not part of what I do, for sure. Raw fish has really almost nothing to do with sushi. Uh, in a very limited fashion, you have to go back to the history of sushi. Uh, and and this, is, this is a pet peeve of mine, so you get to listen to the rant that I'm about to have in regards to sushi. Uh, I have family members, and I'm like, hey, do you like sushi? This is even before I went plant-based. I'm like, hey, do you like sushi? And they're like, oh no, raw fish is gross. I said, but you, you understand that, that sushi's not raw fish. Oh no, I, 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 don't, I don't like sushi. Okay. Do you know what sushi is? Oh, it's raw fish. No, it's not. If you go back in history, back before refrigeration, uh, back before uh, they could preserve things by keeping it cold, uh, to when sushi was created, it was a way of treating rice so that you could wrap fish in it so it would cure and it would be edible later down the road. And the rice wasn't real, well, it was really the way the rice was prepared, not the fish itself. The fish wasn't known as sushi, the rice was known as sushi, and you could wrap anything in that rice that you wanted to, to try to keep it preserved for a period of time. So, then a few years later, I don't remember uh, what the dates were off the top of my head, uh, there were some enterprising uh, Japanese folks that uh, started taking the sushi rice and wrapping them in seaweed for a quick snack for the uh, for the workers as, as they would go to work and it, they started selling them as like like street vendors uh, and over time that began to be more popular and eventually uh, and some of those wraps had raw fish in them but they weren't really raw it was cured fish it had been cured over time uh, and and it evolved into an art later down the road uh, as time went on so ironically enough today when you say sushi a lot of people think raw fish based on the, the origins of <clears throat> of the sushi and so people are like oh I want to use raw fish well you're not you don't have to raw fish is an option but so is cooked fish so are veggies etc etc so when I say sushi, I hope you understand that the correct usage of the term is the rice and the way the rice is prepared with um, seaweed flavoring and sugar and vinegar and so forth. Now, when we say raw food sushi or raw sushi, um, what, what we mean is uh, that we're not using the traditional sushi things, right? We're not using rice because it's cooked. So in place of rice, we're using a cauliflower substitute, usually cauliflower shredded with, or put in a fruit food processor with things like pine nuts or avocado or something like that to make it a little bit sticky. Uh, but it, it's, it's ca ca uh, cauliflower rice. So last night when I got home, long story short, uh, 
the Stark Raving Raw had already uh, made some sushi, uh, some some raw, uh, some cauliflower rice, and had all the vegetables cut up for us to make uh, sushi wraps, which we did, uh, and they were incredibly tasty. Of course, she made them with pine nuts, which have a very high fat content, and uh, they, you know, we also had some avocado in there as well. So when you boil it all down, it actually turned out to be a, a pretty fat-laden meal, uh, more so than what we would have wanted. So what we ended up doing, uh, of course, we ran out of <laughs> nori sheets, which is the seaweed seaweed that you wrap around it. We ran out of nori sheets. And so we ended up uh, having to do the rest of them with uh, rice wrappers. And uh, they were pretty yummy. I'll have, to, I'll, I'll have to hand it to her. She did a great job with, uh, with putting that all together. It was incredibly delicious and it was very filling. And I gained like two pounds. <laughs> and I think it was all pretty much due to uh, that meal. Because the rest of the day I had been, you know, as you know, completely... 80, 10, 10, 100 percent. I had um, green juice for breakfast. I had smoothies for lunch. I had coconut water for a snack, and so forth. So uh, I, I just wanted to say that if your if your key is to lose weight, one of the things you probably don't want to do is take in too much fat. Uh, because that will derail you and derail you quickly or at least that seems to be the case now also uh, one of the things that that i try to do is i try to just kind of keep track of what i eat in a day so that i kind of see how it affects my body now as far as the way i feel as long as i have enough food i'm feeling pretty good i'm feeling you know pretty well all most of the time on this on this diet on this lifestyle however uh when we get to the point where uh we're talking about weight loss you know then you have to take a look at it a little bit differently because uh, that's a different kind of goal altogether um, i mean they feed together because you want them to be the right size and for your heart and, and you know, and, and all that that piece. Um, and if you eat healthy enough, you'll you'll lose the weight just naturally. Uh, but that's one of the indicators of how you're eating is are you getting to the size that you need to be? Are you moving in that direction? And uh, you know, I, I'm sitting right at still about 10 pounds, give or take. It fluctuates a couple pounds. So you know, it's it's one of those deals where. I know for a fact that the, the challenge that I have is I'm eating way too high fat content, uh, but I'm working to resolve that. Again, this is going to be a challenging week, and next week's going to be really challenging because I'm going to be out of town, and odds are I'm not going to have the luxury of going out and, and getting juice every day because I'm not going to take my juicer and so forth. So, and I don't have the money to go out and buy one, uh, another one for travel, because I travel so infrequently, it's not really gonna be worth it. Uh, you know, but I just, I, don't, I just don't have the cash for it right now. So, gotta work within, within our limits. Uh, today I have a, a company lunch that I have to go to, and there is a salad bar, but uh, you know, commercial salad bars are a real challenge because they rarely have any kind of dressing. Well, I think we've gone through this before. They rarely have any kind of dressing that, that doesn't have a high fat content. A lot of the things on are, are grilled, uh, and they're usually grilled in olive oil, and so not really. I was just say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna weigh myself for another three or four days, maybe even a, a, another two weeks until we get past you know where we're at right now with the the trip and all that kind of stuff. So we'll we'll see. Um, in regards to today and my food today, I had some green juice this morning, uh, a little bit more than 16 ounces, maybe maybe 20 ounces, something like that, 21, maybe a little more. Uh, and then I left the rest of it for Stark Raving Raw. And then I took some smoothies. Um, even though I have a company lunch thing that I'm doing uh, today, I also... Um, I want to make sure that I have enough food with me just in case. I mean, there's always the possibility that something may come up and I may not be able to make that lunch. And then where would I be? 
uh, I would be stuck trying to scramble yet again to figure this out. And I don't, I don't really want to be there. Not, not really ever. So, uh, I was hoping to be prepared a little bit more prepared. And so that's why I brought some smoothies with me, some blueberry, banana, spinach smoothies that Stark Raven Raw made for me this morning. Thank you, honey. Uh, which I really appreciate that because I'm always short on time in the mornings trying to get everything ready to go. And so just the you know the fact that she got up and made a few smoothies, even though I was making green juice and, and doing doing stuff too, the fact that she got up and did that for me is um, is really really awesome. So I love you, honey. Uh, let's see. So that's that's what's going on. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I'm gonna try to get by the farmer's market this afternoon and grab some more cucumbers because my seven dollar box of cucumbers uh, has been eaten and it's pretty well gone so I'm gonna have to go back and try to get some more of those and I think what I'm gonna do I think we're gonna change up the collard greens or change up the, the kale in the uh, morning green juices with collard greens because they are more cost effective by a long shot um, I can spend three dollars and get like five pounds or six pounds of collard greens whereas when uh, it's in a you know maybe maybe a pound of kale for five bucks which is you know one of those reasons why we need to start growing our own kale because my understanding is that kale grows like gangbusters and uh, once you get it going you know you've got all the kale you could possibly want so um, that's probably we're gonna have to start a garden this year that's just all there is to it and you know, I've never talked about this on this channel before I've talked about it on um, on Stark Raving Raw's channel um, back a few months ago maybe more than a few months ago uh, but I don't like to garden I, I just don't I don't care for it in any way shape or form it's not it's not something I enjoy it's not fun for me um, now it might be more fun and, and more enjoyable as I get older as I slim down some and it's easier for me to bend over and get up and down and things like that but right now it's not uh, it's not something I really enjoy much at all so it will be It will be a little bit of a challenge. Maybe we'll get some raised beds out of it, and that will that will make it better. So, <clears throat> gonna have to do gonna have to do some gardening. Plus, the other nice thing about doing the gardening, even as much as I dislike the process itself, uh, is that I can make sure that there are no pesticides. I can control the environment uh, quite a bit to be able to uh, figure out to be able to make sure that what I'm eating is what I want to eat is healthy stuff so that's probably I think a lot of people think that's one of the main benefits of it and it probably is so uh, that is something that we'll we're gonna look at this uh, this summer for sure or this spring you know it's 34 degrees right now not optimal time to be planting stuff I don't think anyway okay I'm gonna wrap this up because the video is uh, getting pretty long uh, but I'm gonna start another video maybe a part two video and, and talk a little bit more but uh, I like to try to keep my, my videos right around 10 or 15 minutes max uh, so that if you're um, you know if you're busy and you don't have time to get through the whole thing you know just 10 minutes is a whole lot easier to stomach a lot of times than you know 15 or 20 or whatever so uh, due to that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. So, you know where you can find me on Instagram. That's myunprocessed.life. And, of course, you can reach me uh, at my email, uh, which is um, myunprocessedlife at gmail.com. Uh, and, of course, always, you can comment in down below and share the video. Like it if, if you do. Um, once again, I really appreciate the time you spend with me. Um, I love the time I spend with you, and I hope you enjoy it as well. I know there's lots of other things that you can be doing, and there's lots of other things that would grab your attention. There's lots of entertainment that's probably more fun to watch than I am. So I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate the fact that, that you come and hang out with me. Uh, until next time, have a great day. I love you all. Origins, the orange, oranges, oranges. Sometimes I get tongue-tied. The origins, the origins.